These airmen are learning what it's like to escape from an aircraft that's crashed in the ocean. Both military and civilian aircraft accidents are all too common. If one crashes in water, knowing how to make a quick escape could mean the difference between life and death. The last helicopter crash in the Baltic Sea was in 2003 and led to the death of two people. These Estonian, Latvian and Lithuanian airmen are taking part in a routine exercise to make sure that if it happens again, they'll be prepared. Pilots, co-pilots and loadmasters behind me are being belted into a metal cage and lowered into the ocean. After that they have a short amount of time to escape the cage and the conditions here are designed to replicate as close as possible what it could be like in that kind of emergency situation. This is the simulator of a helicopter MI8 and what, what the crew had to do in the in a, in a water in an emergency situation is firstly uh, to breathe out of oxygen system, then he escaped uh, by ejecting the seat belts and escaping the cabin. Two by two, more than 70 airmen are lowered into the water. They must then put their training into practice and escape from the cage. The cold water does damage to you, to your health, to your mind. Uh, you're starting to panic, so this exercise uh, mostly based on how to deal with your fear, how to deal with yourself. After escaping, they must climb into a lifeboat and wait for rescue. Fear of open water is the most important thing here and uh, your loneliness in the wide, wide waters, in, in wide open. The exercise is designed to test every aspect of the search and rescue system and so the helicopters scramble as they would in an emergency. The Baltic nations, which work together in the event of a crisis, this is an opportunity to practice their response. Three Baltic states are neighboring countries, and our search and rescue are connected, so we have to know each other procedures in emergency situations, and not only in how to survive, but how to help the survivors.